Hey everyone, how's it going? So today, still warm outside. I figure I could, we can kind of carry on the autumn, fall, autumnal kind of vibe. So I thought I'd talk about a fragrance that came out last autumn and it's Jo Malone uh, English Oak and Hazelnut. And this came out as part of Jo Malone's autumn 2017 collection. They, they, they released uh, English Oak and Hazelnut and English Oak and Red Currant. I haven't got the red current one, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, it's a great fragrance for fall. Um, so I figure, you know, it's fall. Let's talk fall fragrance. So I'm not going to go too much into the packaging with this one. It's, you know, the presentation for Jo Malone, they're all kind of the same. This is the 30ml bottle, it also comes in 100ml, um, but they're all kind of similar, you know, they've all got the kind of same sort of bottle shape and lids and stuff and the same old boxes. So you know you, you know what you're getting when you pick up a Jo Malone fragrance. So yeah, it just carries on same old stuff. Say so this one is English Oak and Hazelnut, there's also English Oak and Red Current. So what does it smell like? Well, it's kind of a strange one. You would think English oak and hazelnut, you, you, you get, comes up images straight away of like woods, right? But actually it's quite a bit more complicated, sort of, I wouldn't say complex, but it's a little bit more complex than just simply woods. And I kind of, the reason I wanted to review it was because I mean, there's not a lot of reviews for it, but also because I've read some reviews online that I really disagree with. So I thought, hey, you know, I'd get my own opinions out there. Okay, so I've got this in the dry down. I'm, I'm, I've been wearing it today. But you know, we're gonna I'll give it a spray and uh, sort of talk you through what I think it smells like. So So you get this kind of burst when you first spray it, this quite sour citrus smell. And I tell you what it really reminds me of. Uh, and it's say so this they're not similar fragrances, but just in that opening, really reminds me of uh Hermes and Jardin Solennial. Um, it said they're not similar fragrances, um, but it really reminds me that on the opening of the green mango in Jardin Solennial and like the Alemi in this because it's this very green, sharp, sour opening. And really, that's pretty much all I get out of this opening. There's, there's, there's this kind of a lot of green, quite a watery green again, which reminds me of Jardin Solennial. And I say that they're not similar fragrances, they don't smell very similar at all. But I, they, I conjure up sort of images of that when I smell this and, and vice versa. I can sort of see how they both kind of have this kind of similar feel to them with the kind of sour, vegetal, watery green uh, on the opening. And, and so that, that's really what I get in. And then after a few minutes, around about now, so however long I've been talking since I've sprayed it, you start getting quite a creamy sort of milky note come up and the creamy sort of milkiness is the hazelnuts I, I, I'm going to assume but it's they say that it's it's almost milky it, it, it's very um it but not in a sweet way it's quite dry the whole fragrance is quite dry it's, there's not much sweetness to it at all you have the citrus but say even the citrus is quite a sour sort of citric so it's not sort of it's not going to blow you away with sweetness I think say there's like kind of a, a grapefruit and a lemmy kind of accord there and it's quite sour but then you get this milk sort of vibe underneath it saying that this it's not a kind of creamy gourmand milk don't get me wrong it's absolutely not like that but it's more again like a suggestion of a kind of soft milkiness to it and then so that's the hazelnut coming out because it because after a time, at first, it's almost like just a hint, like underneath the citrus, it's almost like a hint of, hey, here's like a, a kind of soft milk. And then after a while, it starts turning quite nutty. And, and then that's when you sort of can smell the hazelnut from it. And you get this kind of like woodsy hazelnut come around and it's quite nice. I'm not too sure. The oak, I do smell the oak a little, but there's that this is sort of I get uh, the sort of cedar and the oak together they sort of blend to give a more of a, just a kind of very dry wood and it is a very dry woods it's definitely dry but you still get that kind of sharp citrus of uh, a, a note that lasts for me for quite a long time the fragrance itself 
I don't think lasts very long. For me, four, maybe five hours maximum, and then this is gone uh, to like, you know, a really close skin scent. And so if you, if you do like this and you want to wear it all day for a long day, I would suggest sort of either taking the bottle or just a, a small decant because the, 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 the longevity is not amazing on this fragrance, I don't think. So it's not a bold fragrance, it's not a huge fragrance, it's quite, it's quite classy, it's quite refined, it's, it's quite contained. Um, and yeah, so the, the general vibe of it, so it's quite masculine, uh, but I would say it's, it's definitely unisex. Um, I think any sort of female can, can wear this. And say really it's the citrus is kind of calming on my skin now and you're getting this kind of dry woods and um, a lemmy sort of vibe is settling and this sort of milkiness is just kind of creeping up underneath this sort of milky hazelnut is creeping up and it's a really nice vibe it's uh, when I first sprayed it I didn't actually like it I, I, I sort of felt like it smells a bit like sour milk uh, and I, and it, I kind of, I was a bit mm, disappointed, I suppose. But then it kind of started to grow on me, and I, and I and I sort of could appreciate it a little more. But now I really like it. It took me a couple of wears, but but I'm really really liking it now. I after this point, though, it's it's fairly linear as well. It's it's pretty much you get this kind of milkiness for about an hour, hour or two. Uh, with the kind of milky hazelnut and dry woods and then it kind of just ends as a kind of pretty much dry wood right until the end it smells a little bit like there's some vetiver in there because they're all sort of cashmere sort of wood in there somewhere because you get a slight kind of pepperiness uh, very dry sort of grassy wood that that has a slight aromatic to it and then and that but i mean not in a big way it's it's very subtle um so I, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some vetiver in here. And this kind of leads me up to what I was going to say, why I initially wanted to review this. Because I've heard this described, I've, I've, I've sort of been read quite a lot of reviews about this, um, and I've heard it described on Fragrantica specifically as quite similar to Ted DMS. And from quite a lot of reviewers, like three or four at least reviewers that, I've, that, that I read that said this is sort of, they said two things. They said it's an ISO E bomb and it smells like Terre d'Hermes. Well, I'm quite familiar with Terre d'Hermes. It's one of my favorite fragrances. To say these are similar, I, I don't get it at all. I don't think they're in any way similar. I mean, you couldn't even say they're in the same ballpark. They're not even playing the same game. Not even the dry down. So I've got the very late dry down. So what does it smell like in the dry down? Basically, the dry down is very dry. It's, it's, it loses a lot of the green, um, and it, it becomes, and a lot of that kind of watery greenness, and it becomes just like a very dry woods with like a little hint of kind of grassy, aromatic kind of spiciness to it, but just very tiny. For the main part, the hazelnut sort of goes and it just becomes a very dry wood. And, and it's really nice, it's really good. Especially in autumn, it's really great. I think it's all about that a little bit in terms of uh, wearability, when we would wear it. I think it's really like a three season fragrance. I think fall and autumn, perfect. I think you could wear it in the winter. I'm not sure it's that strong. It's, it doesn't have like a huge projection. It's not a very strong fragrance. It's quite light. It's not a dark fragrance at all. Uh, despite, again, sort of all those woods and such, it's, it's quite a light fragrance. So I'm not sure if it has that kind of pushing power for the winter, but I quite like wearing those sorts of fragrances in the winter anyway. So for me, I, I, I would wear this in the winter. In spring, I think it works. I think it's really nice in the spring. It's It's got that kind of green wateriness. And summer, not so much. I probably wouldn't wear this in the summer. In fact, I wouldn't wear this in the summer. Not in the summer daytime. I might wear it on like cool summer nights, but probably not. So, you know, I, I probably would sort of push this to the back of the 
cupboard when it comes to summer really it would for me be sort of autumn spring and probably winter sometimes occasionally but i think that's pretty good um in terms of occasion when would i wear it casual dress down going out spending a day in the countryside would obviously work really well um maybe sort of dressing it up a little bit i think that works uh it's quite um it's quite quite classy i suppose so yeah it would work like dressed up um i probably perhaps wouldn't wear it on like dates and things like that it's, it's maybe a little bit it's not very it's, it's a bit sort of harsh maybe for dates because it's quite cold uh, so I would possibly leave it at home for things like dates, wouldn't wear it clubbing or bar, going to bars or anything like that. So for me it's more of a, it's almost more of a daytime fragrance um, and so it's with its kind of lightness and, and quite sort of refreshing kind of vibe, it's, it's more of a daytime fragrance for me. If I was wearing it in the evenings, I say it would probably be if I was doing something on like a a cool summer's night or a spring or autumn night where I was going to be outside sort of maybe doing something in the open air I would perhaps wear it not because it's huge because often you wear big fragrances in the open air more just because I think it suits that kind of mood I don't think it's sort of, it, it doesn't really suit a kind of sweaty sort of hot environment I know it's, it would might it's a danger of it being a little bit kind of oppressive and sweaty and grim in that kind of situation with the warm woods so I probably wouldn't wear it then but otherwise yeah it's just fairly versatile really when you think like all those situations that I just mentioned um, so to sum it up I think it's a fantastic fragrance I think it's very nice it is a little bit not complex but it's it's got a bit more to it than when you sort of read English Oak and Hazelnut you think uh, you see the note list you think that's just woods but you know with the Alemi in there I think that's quite a clever little move to make it sort of brighten it up and give it some spark and, and make it do something, sort of make it sing really. I think it really works. I think it's a it's quite an interesting note and it's, it's sort of gives it that, say that kind of sour citric kind of vibe. And I think it makes it sort of interesting and it gives it an edge that it perhaps wouldn't have without that. Uh, let's say without that, it really just turns into the dry down which is quite uh, just a dry woods if you like woods I definitely recommend it if you like vetiver I definitely recommend it I'm a huge fan of vetiver I don't think this has got a lot of vetiver in it but I think they're they they, they kind of complement each other um, I think they work quite well and I think if you're into one you'll probably be into the other I say that it, the, the citric kind of milkiness at first it might turn you off but I think it's subtle enough that you can ignore it if you don't like it and it will pass um, but I do think it will wear on you and I think at first say like when I first tried it I was like mm, no sure I like this it's okay but it's sort of smelling a bit like sour milk and but now I wear it and say I've worn it like a few times now and I've kind of got got the hang of it I feel like I'm kind of beginning to understand it a little more and it, I've, I'm actually really enjoying it and I think that now I find that stage to be quite nice and it, it, the sour milk associations are completely gone. So yeah, I think it's an excellent fragrance to sum it up. I really like it. Jo Malone, English Oak and Hazelnut, really nice, um, really well blended, really natural smelling, everything you could want from a Jo Malone really. So yeah, cheers for watching. If you've got any comments, if you think it smells like Ter Demes, stick them in the comments and bitch me out and we can have an argument uh, no uh, but yeah no stick them in the comments if you want uh, thumbs up thumbs down subscribe don't subscribe whatever cheers thanks